be? Like, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the number one electrical fire is from use of extension cords. I'm going to back that up and say yes. Because what people have will data. do in an older home is they'll plug in an extension cord because they're cold. It's an older home. It leaks. It's, it's, it's a freezing day outside. <laughs> and they bring in that heater and they turn it on high and put it right near the bed to keep everyone toasty warm. Mm -hmm. That is the, the, the f most foolish thing anyone can do. If you read the tag on the heater, it says that cord must be plugged directly into the receptacle, not into an extension cord. I'll give you one better. It also says it needs to be a dedicated circuit. That's my number one call for October and November in those months. I get call after call of, of receptacles that just mysteriously stop working. And the reason they stop working is that the wire somewhere along that circuit has actually fried. And why did it fry? Because it was such a heavy load that you were plugging in, into that circuit. It, it requires a dedicated circuit. Read the manual, which no one does. I'm going to help some, a lot of people out here. You ever had an extension cord that, uh, for whatever reason, looked curled like, uh, like Frank's hair right now? Hey. But when you bought the extension cord, it was straight. But all of a sudden, it's curled. That's because it's been under a heavy load, correct? 100% correct. And or a surge. Yes. But mainly, it's been under a heavy load. Yes. I'm actually surprised that you knew that. Well, you I'm a contractor. Me. Yeah, well, a, a I have one. a lot of extension yeah. cords. Well. I'll pick up my cords and go, why is this curled? What the hell well, was then again, this you, put under? You also purchased probably a 16 gauge cord where the heavy duty ones are 14 gauge. Or 12, which or I 12. have 12 gauge, by the way. And then those don't curl. Why? Because it's a bigger gauge line. It can right. handle it. So little things that we, we, we need to know is that, I mean, how many times have I seen this and especially when I was younger, my, my mom would say, Mike, you got to go buy some more fuses, right? Because the 15 amp fuse blew in the, in the electrical panel. Now everyone should be on breakers, but even that still needs to be inspected because again, it's got a shelf life. Don't ever take out, if you still have fuses, and I know there's still people out there that have there fuses, are. don't take out a 15 amp and put in a 20 amp or a 25 amp or a 30 amp. Don't do that. I've Why? Said I, I've said it a million times. Like, imagine that the breaker, the fuse, sorry, we're talking a fuse is set for 20 amps, where the wire is a 14 gauge wire that's good for 15 amps. Now we want to make sure that 80% of the load is normal use. So it's actually only good for 12 amps. But here we are, we're going to draw 15 amps every once in a while. Okay, it'll hold. But if we have a circuit where we've got that little portable heater plugged in, and for argument's sake, I don't know, your TV along with your computer, computers actually draw quite a bit. The older, you know, maybe not a laptop, but the older uh, desktops. And as you're using all this, if the circuit starts to pull more than 15 amps, the wire starts to get hot. Then the fuse turns around and says, hey, I'm good for 20 amps. Meanwhile, the wire is still getting hot. So what's going to burn first, the 20, 25, or sorry, 20 amp fuse or the wire that's only good for 15? The wire. Once that blows, where in the wall do you think that it, it blew? Which is your guess as good as mine. Yeah, but that, and they're lucky that it didn't cause a fire because well, think may. about that wire heating up. But it may. That's the trick. A lot of people take a chance and say, oh, wire blew and it's, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We need to find where that blew because if it is behind that wall, the power's still live going to it. It is an electrical fire waiting to happen. So or can be. Can. The reason people will pull out a 15 amp fuse and put in a 20 amp fuse as a, an example is because that fuse keeps blowing. And there's a reason that fuse keeps blowing and that's what everyone is missing. Yes. There's a reason. So don't up it because it will, by upping it from a 15 amp to a 20, which I'm going to go into further detail in a second, if you were to do that, you are creating a possible fire hazard for your home. So if a fuse is blowing, you got to call in a licensed electrical contractor that can bring in an electrician to solve the problem. Don't create one is what I'm trying to say.